Okay, the first thing we want to do is uh, check our tuning. <clears throat> so here's uh, playing a G there. That looks pretty good, right down the middle. Now I'm going to pan over to the synthesizer output. the two together and when you uh, tune the GR700 you want to make sure at least for the purposes of calibration that you're not in chromatic mode because in chromatic mode it's automatically going to uh, adjust the pitch of the guitar to to be exactly in tune so we've got chromatic mode turned off and we're just listening to the sound of one oscillator no modulation so we can get a, a pretty pure tone from that and here's a guitar again okay so we just want to check to make sure that we do have the guitar and the uh, GR700 in tune before we move to uh, checking the chromatic tuning Version 1 of the GR700 software was set up so that when you were in chromatic mode and it got rid of all of the pitch imperfections and you played an A on the guitar, you heard A equals 442 and not the standard for us, A equals 440. Uh, some countries A is 442, some places it's 445. In version 2 software and higher, you could adjust that by going to uh, uh, edit mode pressing 4-8 and you could uh, hear the pitch of the synthesizer with and without chromatic mode turned on and incidentally you can also use this to, to uh, for instance check the cable if you are in 4-8 and you play each string there's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 I'll show you which string you play it's a way to check to see maybe if you have a bad cable or what could be wrong with the system? So let's check this. So we want to set this up so that when we go to chromatic mode, the pitch doesn't change. Because we've already tuned the guitar. Okay, that sounds good. I did that by turning the resonance control on the guitar. So after we've made this adjustment, you'll notice that uh, engaging and disengaging chromatic mode does not change the pitch. So we're good to go. We tuned to A440, going to chromatic mode also reproduces A440, and we're all set. And in case you're wondering where I am, the, the lights on the GR700 are not blinking. They only appear to be blinking because uh, the, the lights do not actually stay on the whole time. They're actually blinking on and off. Uh, so quick that your eye doesn't see it, but when you try to videotape these lights, uh, they do uh, flash on and off. It's kind of like uh, videotaping a television screen. Okay, we're ready to move on to the uh, calibration of the GR700.